Wie ein Lied. Immer Hey everybody and so welcome to our interview today in uh, the studio of Francesco Passantino. We have with us two, two guests, Rick Ellis and Jana S. And I'm Dorina. So we'll start with you, Rick, if you can briefly introduce yourself and then Jana. And then we'll start talking about more uh, things, but myself, briefly yeah. introducing, like how do you describe yourself? Um, in a few uh, sentences, not words. So. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a man. <laughs> okay. Apart from that, <laughs> I, was, I was born very young. Okay. Now I'm very old. Uh, yeah. I'm What do you do? A, uh, I'm an artist. Uh, I paint, do graphics, uh, sign writing, uh, play music, guitar, and Mel Trommel. Okay. Yeah, um, and enjoy life. That's the most fun thing. How about you, Jana? How well, would you? I don't know what to say about me. First of all, okay, I'm a woman. I am okay. a mother of three kids. I say she's wonderful. I'm. <laughs> um, well, it's important to say today. It's yeah. And yeah, we are writing books. I write them. He's uh, illustrating them. I'm coming from Berlin. I'm a real Berlin person, uh -huh. born here. Berliner. An echter yeah. Berliner, boy, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that made me as I am, pretty straight. Right. Our backgrounds always make us people we are, yeah. so it's important. Yeah, sure. And she's also very creative. All right. And we make music together here or there. So yeah. this is what brought you guys together? Music, art, how no, did you no, first... No, uh, no, okay. the gods. The gods. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. We had a jam session in, a, in an Irish bar. Yeah, okay. I've done here whatever I wanted to do, so it's enough. Let's move on, go somewhere else. So, you know, it's there. <laughs> Got bad blues, baby. Let's drink to that. I got another one here. Yeah. I want your sausage. I love sausages. Sausages forever. Tasty. Mm.
when you went into the DDR okay. and, and checked when it when you get, went out. When okay. you have been too long in, they took your car in pieces. Your what? Your yeah, car. Your car. I yeah, it apart. to check it, it, apart. Take really? it apart to see if somebody's in there that you picked oh, up God. somebody. Uh -huh. Were you too fast? They right. charged you money because you drove too fast, <laughs> you know. Come so they knew exactly. But you could like get in only with your like ID, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. With the personal Didn't have wise. any kind of extra permit or something. No, no, no. Or? No, my personal okay. license was enough. And then one day on this travel as well, you know, um, oh, the, we we made a stop at the metro. Metro, mm -hmm. you could also go as a uh, West German person in, you know, and mm -hmm. get cheap food. What he told before, you know. Okay. And so we made a rest, and petrol was cheap, you know, right. so, because um, we were not rich, but well off, you know. And they always said, don't talk to anybody, don't talk to any. you end up here in prison, you know, in the DDR, oh, yeah. you know. And suddenly I walked along as a little girl, 12 years, you know, and there was a boy in the grass ground on the side and said, hey, have you got a mark? And I screamed and ran to my parents. <laughs> I thought, oh my goodness, you know. <laughs> now I end up in prison. <laughs> he just wanted a mark because it was a lot of money for him, you know. Yeah, yeah, Later I realized, yeah. And then we drove <laughs> through Stuttgart. All and right. my mom said, oh, now we are out of Stuttgart. And I said, where's the wall? Because uh -huh. for me it was clear around every it's city is a wall, a wall, yeah. You know, where you have to show really your passport, you know. Yeah, yeah that was... <laughs> So this is how I was grown up, no? Yeah. Yeah, that was to say to this old times. No, but it must have been also very different in the, in the 90s, and you know? I mean, you cannot imagine for the art scene, you know, for where you guys were working. And so, you know. Oh, yeah, we. Uh, for me, it's the worst thing they did ha that happened to Berlin was to bring the government to Berlin. Uh -huh. That was the worst thing. Oh, yeah, they okay. should have stayed in Bonn. Uh -huh. It would be much cheaper for Germany. Okay. Yeah. And we would have our calm of them, you know, <laughs> honestly, yeah. Right. Since they, they are here, so many people come in here, you know, they are just for career, because they changed Berlin so much, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the Potsdamer Platz would be ever so big, you know, if the yeah. government wouldn't be here. I think that was a big twist in the story of Berlin. And do you think, Berlin. I mean, what exactly got lost in the process? What do you think got lost? Silla Berlin. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a little now, you no. don't know. It's I heard about it. Heinrich Ziller. Yeah. Ziller is, is a, a caricaturist ah. from Berlin, especially, okay. and he was more here around in the milieu, you know, where the, where the chi, where the poor people lived, and so around 1900, you know. And it was always, I loved this little bit of Ziller Berlin, yeah. It uh -huh. was more rough, right. yeah, it was more straight. It was not these creamy things now, you know, and everybody saw, oh, we are so nice. Yeah, yeah it's a, it was more, yeah. Yeah, because he also wrote in phonetics with a Berlin ah. dialect. You know, yeah. Actually, okay. Yeah, which uh, helped me a lot. Ziller, yeah? Ziller. Okay. Heinrich Ziller. Heinrich Ziller. Ziller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And fantastic. he really got it on the point, you know, he was really great. And yeah, I miss it, you know, it's... Mm -hmm. Um, okay, every city has to develop and else, sure. yeah, but in this moment they developed it so from the top. Not okay. from the bottom, uh -huh. and I thought should things that should come from the ground and change, yeah, yeah and yeah, not no, not no, pump no. here and now everything has to be like different, we yeah. Some kind of like change that was like forced. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know what you mean. Okay. And this was really too fast, too much. I oh. made it posh, you know, and it was. Yeah, I think that was the biggest disaster for right. Berlin. And for you, know. you, what do you think got lost? In the process of uh, now modernizing the city and everything, what do you miss about the old Berlin or Berlin of the nineties uh, or so? The freedom that we once had. Uh. So your music and uh, this uh, record, what can you tell us about that? The music. Uh, as I say, mm -hmm. we met the second time, and he was playing there at the jam session. You can mm -hmm. tell your story afterwards shortly, and. Um, Sometimes Rick had a bit problems to keep the tone. Mm. So, and I was just singing with the kiddies and else, you know, always everywhere, but never professional or so, All you right. know. And then I was always humming near him. <laughs> so, and then I came into it, you know, and then one day we had a party and his friend got me 
accidentally in front of a micro, you know, I had mm. no idea how this thing works or anything, with them. didn't want to do, okay. said, no, no, they hear me, they hear me always, <laughs> <laughs> and he called my neck at the micro and said, sing, you know. Uh, okay. Another thing through the microphone. Yeah, and, and the next day I went to a friend <laughs> of us and said, hey, teach me how to work with micro, you know, this will never mm. happen to me anymore, you know, it's being so, you know. Well, Überraschend, so surprised, yeah. you okay. know. This was like the first experience with music, right? And yeah, the and records, what, what's the story behind it? This one? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we went to uh, Tori's house one night and we said, oh, because uh, I'm not an electronic music fan, mm -hmm. actually, but uh, some stuff is okay. okay. You know, I'm old school. If it ain't right. rock and roll, it ain't music. <laughs> 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 and uh, yeah. So um, I had my slide guitar, I also had my other guitar, we had a Borens, the Irish mm -hmm. drum, and uh, yeah, we just played around and put some things together. Of course, they made the Teshnik, uh, the effects, of course. Were you already experienced with music, or like this was the first time you were doing something musical, so to say? Oh, no, I mean, we write our own songs and write our own music, uh, so to speak. Uh, um, yeah, and this, this was all just over sort the place. of, you know. you know. Sometimes we got ordered, sometimes we okay. just jammed, you know, and we had a pub and there we made okay. every Thursday a jam session. And oh. so we were leading it with our music always a little bit when somebody wasn't so good, you know, then we said, oh, no, we want to play again, you know. And, and what kind of music uh, were you doing? Hmm? Folk, what was your folk, rock and blues. All right. Okay. Yeah. Your own creations or cover or how was mostly it? both. Your stuff. Okay. Yeah. yeah both. I write the words mainly, and he's making the music, and then some. And you're singing it. We're both singing. We're both. Singing. both. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Together or, or separate or separate or. or yeah. As we are only two people, we tried it with a few bands, but one went then to Norway, the other one, you know, never happened really. Nice to take a break from the house. 